Hello everyone, this is Andrew again with Garthakian Gaming, and I'm here with uh, part four of my series on how to paint the Circle of Orboros Woldrath. Today I'm going to show you guys what I've done with all of the wood logs on this model. And this part actually, I felt, took a little longer than all the runes, just because the runes are pretty quick when you just do the wash technique and flow that green paint down into the runes, whereas with all the log parts, you have to paint them the traditional way. So let me just start with the legs as usual, and we'll take a look at those. So here we go. All right. So you can see here, he's got logs that run through the hip on both sides, and then through the knee joint down here in the foot on both feet and then just a little wood part behind the leg there and behind the leg there so that's on the legs and next we'll look at the torso There we go. And for the torso, really all you have are these little wood parts here. Also, there's tiny ones on the side of his head. You can see those. There we go. Right there. And there's one on the other side. Then you have the big bundle of wood logs that go around his waist. right there so that's the torso and I'll just show you one of the arms we'll go with the open hand the left arm here so oh, come on try to get this thing to focus got a brand new camera here there we go okay so he's got a log that goes through the shoulder joint and the elbow joint and then the area between the big pieces of stone is all wood too right here and here uh, the wood along the forearm the palm of the hand and then all of the knuckle joints are wooden as well so just right here in the elbow give you a close-up of how that wood turned out here we'll use the shoulder right there by my thumb so you can basically see how that turned out this also gives you a better view of these runes too with this new camera so now really quick let me just show you what I used to paint all the wood parts so first thing I did was coat them with Vallejo model color leather brown number 70871 and this I just used on the if you see here on the outside parts of all the wood basically the bark of the wood so that was leather brown Next, I highlighted it with flat earth number 70983. Once it was highlighted, I then went and did the lighter wood color. I'll show you again here. The lighter wood color in there, the actual wood itself. And for that, I actually used dark sand 70847 again from Vallejo model color once all of that's done you have all three of those colors done I then washed all of the wood and I used the Citadel Agrax Earthshade this is one of their newer washes and I just put a fairly decent coat of this over all of those wood parts to get that effect. Now, of course, to make the paint go on easier, I used the 
the flow aid that I mentioned from the previous video. I ju I've just moved into the smaller bottle. It's easier to measure it out. So now that I have a new um, webcam for these videos, I think what I'm going to try next is actually recording how to paint all of the ropes on this guy. So that'll be the next video. Um, you know, thank you for taking the time to watch this one. Again, you know, like the video if you liked it. Leave any comments if you have any positive or negative comments. I'm open to all feedback. Um, you know, any questions you have on any of the techniques I used, products I used, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.